Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily and the city of Sheffield in the UK. We're here to look at a brand new climbing wall, but in a city full of obsessed climbers, why is this place different and why should you come here? Now, usually when I do these gym tours, I'm shown around by someone from management, but today, well, Sean Acoxy is here, Olympic athlete, a climber who has inspired me throughout my climbing career, and you're one of the ambassadors for the Climbing Hangar. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. It's exciting to have you guys here and to be showing you around this new facility. Now, we're starting in the cafe, because let's be honest, it's the most important place. Uh-huh, and since like my retirement from comp climbing, my priorities have definitely changed when it comes to climbing walls, and it is all about the cafe. Climbing second. <laughs> what about this cafe especially makes it so good? You know, I think when you go climbing, you want to kind of have a full experience. And I think so many people want to come in, especially in the UK, have a cup of tea or coffee before they climb, have a session. And then there's so few places where you can get good food after or before your session. So to be able to be in a space where the cafe is as good as the climbing, pretty rare, I think, to find that. OK, you've sold me on cakes. <laughs> you've got to sell me on the climbing still. And I can see it behind you through that yeah, door. Let's get going. Let's go check it out. Awesome. So this is it, this is the main space. Yeah, welcome. It's a space that's kind of divided up, so we've got different areas. And then this is kind of the commercial area with lots of different climbs of different grades. I mean, you can see all the different colors on the wall and it's kind of standard with one color being a certain grade, starting at like easy to pretty hard. Yeah, we had a play uh, around early this morning. There's some difficult climbs yeah, here. It's yeah. quite a challenge. I mean, Sheffield, you know, it's a pretty strong city for climbing, so you need that, that like top level to be really good. But one thing the hangar does so well is making the easier climbs and the lower grades really interesting. Mm -hmm. um, as you can see here behind us, you've got this blue climb that's, you know, it's it's one of the easier circuits, but they put so much time, energy and money into their easier circuits and it's such a unique feature of the climbing hangers to do that. I always think, yeah, a climb wall lives and dies on its root setting and I see something like that, I want to climb that, you know, Exactly, and like almost every climber can come and give that a go. Like, it's something that's really accessible and that's something the hanger are really passionate about. And something I've always been really passionate about is making sure climbing is accessible and fun to climbers of all abilities. And I'm seeing different kind of colours and stuff. And one thing I keep noticing is these bright pink ones. <laughs> yeah. What's that all about? So the pink circuit, as you can see here, this is the World Cup circuit. Mm -hmm. So the competition style climbs. And again, it's across loads of different grades. But they're really passionate about getting new holds in mm -hmm. and making sure they're staying kind of relevant and interesting. So yeah, as you can see here, like it's super fun climbing on some brand new contact holds. And yeah, it's just really cool to be in a space where they put so much time and energy into fun boulders for people of you know like i said all abilities the worst thing with some walls is you go in and you know you climb a problem and, and then you know six months later it's the same problem still <laughs> yeah, sure. how often are things reset here so the hangar do sets by area which is something that i think is such a good idea um, so some centers do it by like a circuit so we set the whole center different places but they do one area at a time and that's every week so they set over two days, two or three days, and then they set that one space. And what I find is it really brings the community back together. So, you know, old school climbing walls used to be tiny and everyone of all ability had to climb in that one space together. So you learn so much from doing that and setting the areas really kind of brings that kind of vibe back. And I love it. I think it works really well. I'm glad you mentioned the old school, new school thing. Because <laughs> yeah. like some walls in this Sheffield. This is mad, hey? It is, isn't it? It's like super clean, <laughs> super shiny, and it, it feels very different. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And there's a feature around the corner, which I know is very close to your heart. Sure. And is truly new school. <laughs> Can we go check that out? Let's go check it out. Let's head around. So the hangar Sheffield have something not many walls in the world have. They have the Tokyo replica bouldering wall, which is so cool, you know, like 
Climbers of all abilities can come and get involved and play on the Tokyo Olympic wall. So what we're so looking cool. at now, this is what you were on in the summer in Tokyo. This is yeah, it. Yeah, this is the exact wall, like the exact replica of the wall that we were climbing on and competing on at the Olympic Games, which yeah, it's kind of mind blowing. It, it really is. That in Sheffield. And like one thing I wanted to look at that slab down the end. That's really slabby. I've seen my fair share of World Cup balls. <laughs> that thing is a proper slab. It is, yeah. But you know, they made it pretty tricky to get up for sure. And I think you know, as you saw watching the Olympics, the boulders that were on the wall definitely weren't easy, even though it was pretty slabby at that end. I have to talk about the Olympics because mm -hmm. obviously you were there. What was that like? First time climbing in the Olympics. How did that feel to you? The Olympics still, even now, just feels so surreal. The whole build up to the games, then the delay with everything to do with COVID, then there not being crowds allowed. Just the whole experience was so far from what we'd imagined it to be. So to actually be there and get on the wall and get off the ground, like that was my goal was to just get off the ground, become an Olympian and anything else is a bonus. But to be there and to be part of it was just magical and I'm still processing it now. When I was a kid, I was used to pretend I was in places, right? I could come <laughs> into uh, the climbing hangar, have a climb on a boulder, jump down, hang a medal around my neck and I'm actually feels like one of those athletes. And it part is it's a really special yeah. feature. And I think, you know, the Olympics, it just transcends so many boundaries and it, it inspires people in a way that so few things do, you know, that the Olympics is so magical for so many reasons and to have like a little piece of that in Sheffield that people can come and get involved on, I don't know, like that's a rare opportunity to do that. Absolutely. Now, the training that you guys have to put in, even just get anywhere near the Olympics <laughs> is, is next level. And we're moving on to the training section of the gym. Yeah. So one of the things that I think is important for climbing if you want to improve. I mean, if you're just happy climbing, then that's pretty cool, but most of us want to get better. So training is such a huge part of that. And there's such a, an, an amazing space for training here and lots of different parts to it. So we should go check those out. So yeah, something we see in a lot of gyms and this one looking amazing, a spray wall setup. So what's the use of this? Like why train on something like this? So a spray wall is for me such an essential part of training. So I love board climbing and I love training in the gym, but the creativity that you can get from climbing on a spray wall, it's hard to find elsewhere. And you know, as a little kid, I used to love making up boulder problems, but back in the day, old school walls didn't have many holds on them. So now having the luxury to have spray walls, to be able to learn where your strengths and weaknesses are, to really kind of specifically train whether it's crimps, whether it's big moves, pinches, whatever it might be, you can just target your weaknesses so well on the spray wall. And it's such good fun to train with other people and just have a really good session. So right in the middle of the hangar really is the gym setup. Yeah. Did you spend a lot of time in gyms preparing? Oh my goodness, I've spent so much time in gyms. And actually when I first started training in a gym, I was like, is this really important for climbing? And then the more I did, the more I realized, mm -hmm. yeah, it really is. We're kind of limited by the amount of time you can spend on the wall with skin mm -hmm. and physically, you know? So having a gym space to train for me is essential. But also it's really important that it's fun. So, you know, you can see here, we've got the monkey bars here and we can do loads of like plyo work on that. And Leah and I have made up like the most ridiculous challenges on here and just had such a good time. So, you know, if training's fun, it's a lot better to be, yeah, enjoying yourself and making gains than kind of doing that monotonous grind. Although sometimes it's gotta be like that. Yeah, and you know, sometimes I come to climbing walls or I see gyms and it's, the gym setup is somewhere in a room away uh, from the yeah. climbing. This is right in the middle and it's, quite refreshing it's quite nice to see it you know who wants to be stuck in like a dark boring like depressing room you want to be out here where the action is and I think being in a space where the music is going and everyone's trying hard like whether they're on the wall or in the gym being in a space where the vibe's good mm -hmm. it's going to get you feeling better and having a better session and making more gains because you're in a space where it just feels good to be there and I think you know, having this gym space, I think was really important, especially somewhere like Sheffield, where there's such a culture for training for mm -hmm. climbing. Um, you know, it gets used so much, which is really cool to see as well. But I'm a big fan of gym-based training for climbing and I really enjoy it. So yeah, it's nice to see more people kind of being involved in that world. Awesome. Well, look, we are here really to talk about climbing. Very true. There's more climbing to talk about because I can spot a cave over there. This is the cave, look yeah. at that. It's... Who doesn't love a massive steep roof? It's true, it's very cave-like. <laughs> and again, endurance training, it's pretty good for that. 
Yeah, for sure. And it's just good to get involved and, you know, have a good wrestle on some, some volumes. And again, they've really made sure that there's a variety of different levels of climb, even within the steeper sections and the caves, just so everybody can get involved on all different parts of the wall. For quite a, a small climbing wall, it packs a lot in, doesn't it? And it's funny you say small because it really doesn't feel like it. Yeah. There's just so many different areas to use and utilize. I think it, yeah, it just doesn't feel that no, small you could do, you could you could come here, like I come here multiple, multiple times. I wouldn't get bored and I'd have stuff to come back exactly, to. Exactly, yeah. And because they change like a section each week, there's always something new for everybody, mm -hmm. which I think is one of the good things about setting by area is that, you know, every single grade range gets something new every week. Now, climbing training, going back again, board stuff because uh, like this I'm like my happy place. Well, let's go, let's go let's go check out the happy place because <laughs> I mean look there look, as we're walking over the lights are lighting up a little bit. There's a kilter board, there's a beast making board over there. I mean how much time do you spend on stuff like this? So, I spend a lot of time training on my boards at home or Ned's boards, I should probably say. He made them, not me. Um, but yeah, board climbing for me is such an essential part of training. It's kind of that raw power, finger strength, body strength that you can't get on the wall as easily. Also with boards like the Beastmaker board, it's symmetrical. You can really kind of highlight weaknesses on different sides. And then, yeah, you've got the kilter board, which again is super accessible. You know, it's got climbs from a lot easier to kind of as hard as they get and with the kilter board people from all over the world can be set in boulders and you can be trying their blocks and with the beast maker board the blocks are kind of inputted here so it's really way more community based so yeah you've kind of got everything you could want in one space here well look Shawnee, you sold me on the cakes right back in the very <laughs> beginning uh, during the gym tour you sold me on the gym it, it, it is a really cool space and for me, like I used to live in Sheffield, coming back here and discovering new gyms, yeah. coming through new places to go climbing is so, so exciting. And you know, you could be here when someone walks in, you never know, and uh, you get to climb with one of the best climbers in the world, so. Yeah, that's one of the most beautiful things about our sport is that spaces are for everybody. And I train on these walls just the same way a beginner would climb on these walls. It's not that there's an area for beginners or there's an area for elite, like climbing walls are spaces for people and climbers of all abilities. And you know, that's really special. And the climbing hangar is so good about bringing the community into spaces. They run specific events for women's nights. They run Friday nights for the LGBTQ plus community. And I think it's so important to make everybody feel welcome in a climbing wall. And yeah, that's one thing the climbing hangar are really passionate about. Awesome. Well, there you go, guys. Uh, check out the climbing hangar. There's links down below if you're ever in Sheffield. It's raining outside. Come here for a session. Shauna, thank you very much. Thank you. And we'll see you guys soon.